Greetings, friends. So for quite a while, the Toronto Freedom Rally or anti-lockdown marches or protests, whatever you want to call them, uh, they have had their own resident stripper. And this lady is an exhibitionist and she sometimes likes to do, a, you know, go topless uh, during the march or, uh, for example, on the 24th, after a large march of several thousand, uh, came back to Queen's Park. Well, I don't think there were several thousand at that point, but it was so, sort of just the, the ending of the march. So there would have been a bigger crowd than usual. And there, was a, there had been a stage, there was a stage set up uh, because the speakers were using that earlier. And she went up on the stage and started doing her uh, seductive routine. I was standing with some friends at the time and I said, oh, I don't really want to see this. And I removed myself from the situation and sat down. Um, and one of the people that I knew he said, oh, she's not hurting anyone. That was just his, his reaction. But I was thinking about it, and I, I would make the argument that she is hurting herself by debasing herself uh, in public, and she's also hurting society, because we live in a society, and the moral, there are moral standards. Therefore, what children see, or what, even what adults see, we are influencing them. Uh, morally, and if you if, so, if you have low standards of com common decency, like if you're vulgar, a vulgar person, if you swear a lot, if you if you don't care how your body looks, if you debase your body, if you uh, constantly modify your body in various ways, like a lot of these strippers, they have lots of tattoos. The tattoos are constantly growing, slowly taking over more of their body. If that's the sort of thing you exhibit and you enjoy attention and even want to put that image out there. Uh, this is having an effect because humans are, are inevitably going to be influenced by what they see other humans doing. So we should have sympathy for this stripper lady, a damaged individual who probably was abused, you know, probably, I mean a lot of them are, and, and the, the repeated activity of, uh, of uh, continuing to uh, you know, go naked in front of strangers and you know, that's, um, that's encouraging lust in men which is uh, one of the carnal sins, and it's, it's debasing your own honor as a woman. It's, it's not modest behavior, it's not, uh, not bef befitting a, a good woman, right? That's, men don't want don't to marry a, a lady who's been a stripper and who's had multiple sexual partners. Most men, they're not going to find that attractive in a woman because it would be like not someone you could rely on, not someone you could trust. But people point out, well, this stripper lady who, this ex exhibitionist, um, two of her friends committed suicide during lockdowns. And that's sad, and that shouldn't surprise us, because they're going to be damaged individuals too. They're going to be uh, more prone to uh, falling into a crisis. But that doesn't mean that you condone these things. You do that doesn't mean you, s you shrug your shoulders and say, oh, well, you know, she's just expressing her... She's just expressing herself. That's just who she really is. No. Like, yes, maybe she, you're expressing yourself, okay, but you can, you can be damaging yourself and hurting society at the same time. Let's keep that in mind, and we, we want to we pray for these people, we want to have sympathy for be, these people. These people need help. These people need spiritual help, so we should pray for them. Um, but that doesn't mean that you just shrug your shoulders and say, oh yeah, this is okay. And Devin Stack from Blackbuild, he was talking about how um, around the 1970s, when you could photograph a man walking down a beach or, or a neighborhood wearing a t-shirt that said uh, F off, but it spelled out F-U-C-K off on the t-shirt. When those sorts of t-shirts started coming out in public, in popular culture, that was the moment when our civilization was finished. That was the moment where there was no return. It was, it was over. It, if we hadn't been able to stand up to that then, then anything would go. Because the slippery slope, that one thing leads to a, to a bigger thing and to a bigger thing, that actually is true. We've seen it happen. Look at, gay, look at what happened with gay marriage <laughs> to, what, to what the situation is now. And I mean, you can go on and on and... No, actually the slippery slope is true and... Um, so because we're not, we're not explicitly a Christian country anymore, then anything goes. And if you're not going to be standing for God, then clearly the alternative is going to arise. And really, it may, it may pose itself as all these different other 
cultures, Buddhism, environmentalism, whatever culture or, or value system it is, but it all just inevitably boils down to something vulgar and satanic. Hasta luego, amigos.